you better get your ass out the, up off the couch. I know you're probably super comfortable, you know. But remember these days? Remember when you're grinding it out in the 30 degree weather? <clears throat> remember when you were steaming and hustling and fingertips frozen? Yeah, I know at this date that my next three years are created now that I've got my hand reached all the way into the future and I'm grabbing tight and I'm directly controlling who I will be and what I can accomplish right now with my work ethic. So you better get your ass off the couch. Don't ever look into the past at this video and see that you worked harder in the past and that you got comfortable. Don't ever do that to yourself. That's spiritual suicide right there. That's work ethic in 2020. No government can shut down your work ethic. You know, I can't shut down your morals. I can't shut down who you are as a person and what you stand for. But if you don't exercise it, you shut it down yourself. You never start it up. You use it or you lose it. And if you don't get your ass off that couch, in any comfortable situation, you I know what I signed up for. I signed up to be lonely. I signed up to work hard. I signed up to sweat. I signed up to be beaten and battered and to test my will and to see, you know, what I could become. I want to see that. I want to test how much I'm willing to delay gratification, how much I'm willing to sacrifice and suffer. And that happens now. That happens today. My future is now and because I chose it, because I decided it, and because I'm directly controlling it. So don't ever catch yourself sitting on that couch and you better believe that than the Nick of today, three years ago for you, years and years ago for you. I better not be outworking you at this very moment because this is all the past, baby. And if you want an even brighter future, you better get working for it. Don't you ever, don't you ever fucking complain about someone letting you down when you actively let you down all the small decisions you know that you know practicing the smallest disciplines lead up to the biggest ones you can't say no to a fucking chocolate kiss single chocolate kiss that's on the counter and you want to bullshit yourself and act like it it's just it's just such so small you're being way too serious you know live a little is not maintainable you have such high standards for yourself don't ever fucking complain about someone letting you down if you actively are letting yourself down don't ever Look in the mirror and say that I could be great. Don't ever look in the mirror and say that you could be great if you're not actively working on it. Well, you're waiting on a fucking care package, just sitting there. You ain't doing shit. You're not trying new things. You're not grinding. You're not going out of your comfort zone in all aspects of life. You're not sweating. You're not hurting yourself. You're not trying everything that's possible. You're actively wasting your life. All the people that you could be helping, all the change that you could be making, the personality that you could become, the future tests that you could weather because it's all built up to this. You let yourself down. Don't ever look in the mirror and say that to yourself. Make sure you keep it up. Thinking about talking to yourself uh, in the future because you know how you always look back in your memories and your past. That's all we have. Like we can't see the future, but you could see the past. And you ever remember a time when you were going beast mode or you were always fitter? Um, that's always something you're chasing. So I'm gonna set a high standard now and talk to myself like, yeah, future me, I know you're watching this. You better get your ass out of that comfort, out of that comfy bed. And I'll remember like, man, I was kicking ass back then. I gotta keep it up or even one up it because that's how humans work. But don't ever let your future sleep.